Boy, it has been nothing but a hectic day. I'm talking about go, go, go. No work. Just moving, moving, moving. Drive, drive, drive. Go, go, go. Last night, Chelsea and I set out some you know, five jugs in a new area to try to test out if there's any fish in that new area. It looked promising. Before we even got to setting our limb lines, we got a bite on one of the jugs. So that was good. We rebated that jug and moved on to our limb lines. We set 25 limb lines. Uh, let all the stuff soak overnight. Woke up this morning to go check the, the, the lines and was just fog, like a wall, literally. I didn't see anything, but I was able to check the jugs in an area and got another fish. Went to go check the limb lines, couldn't do it. I made it about 100, 200 yards up the river and I decided to turn around. I didn't have enough time to navigate through. I know the river, I just didn't have enough time to do it because I needed to be back and drop off Sky and Bud so they can go with their great grandparents to Chattanooga and go on the train. So I, hopefully they're having fun. So Chelsea and I went out and, uh, and we also took Bobo. It was Bobo's first time to go check lines. So eh, he wanted more of trying to get in the water than just enjoying the, the scenery. So we didn't come back empty handed. That's good. There we go. Hey, good. Bo's first catfish. Say hi. Say hi. He talking to you. Hi. He's like, yeah, he's going to be talking to me when I put him in my belly. Get the water. Get it. That one right there. <laughs> we need to bring some bank poles over here. Get the water. You get in the water, Bobo? You fall in, I'm going to laugh. He's hoping that he does. Again? Get one. This one's still got the bait on it. You can't oh, get oh. it. That's something. You see it vibrating? Yeah. And it looks like it's caught on that branch. Nope. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Might need the net for this one. I think he might be tangled up, and at least we could get him in the net. If I have to, I'll just take off the line or cut the line. Where are you at, buddy? <laughs> There you go, get yourself off. Oh, you don't like the fishy face. You don't. Nope, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. There you go. Ooh, look, he's still trying to get caught no. up in my net. Got another one. We got another fish. You want to touch the fishy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's little. We're letting him go. Look how little that one is. Good lord. Well, when you get done there, buddy. This guy's. We're going to put him back. Say bye bye. Let me see it. Oh, oh. I'm going to hook, hook it back up. Well, that's what I'm I was going to You say bye bye. Touch it. And touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so on the side we just checked, we had 15 lines set up, we had two fish, but then the river, I think they dropped the river, they opened up the dam or something, the river dropped four feet, so a lot of our lines were up out of the water, but we got two fish, that's good. Now we got the other side to check, and hopefully where I put them is, I don't know, we'll see. One, two, Woo!
other side now. Let's see what we got. Man, I just can't believe they drained the river that much. Kind of makes you wonder what they know about the storms coming in. Look at all that. That well, I don't know what that is. Trash? More trash? Where? Right there. Is that all the trash? Looks like a can. Yeah, cause look how low it is on that side over there. I know they had, they dropped it a quite a. I mean, look, I didn't even know there was a bank over. I mean, a flat end of the bank over there. Look where last night we came right up here. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, cause look, our boat marks are still there. I mean, that's how that's how far up we went last night. The the good thing about them draining the river and you seeing it like this is it gives you the opportunity when you go to set lines again. We know exactly where to place where them. to set the lines where the, the they can't get tangled up and then get off of it. So it's you got to find the positive in everything. I mean, it sucks because I can't, you know you're probably right. It's probably over half of our lines out of the water, but yeah, look, here's that thing. I really want to know what that is. It looks a dock, something. I don't know. I guarantee you, there's some crap crappie hiding in there. Hey babe. Yeah. That's what? The seat. What's the seat? Is it leaking out from the seat or can you hear it? I can, I'm watching it. Man, I don't want to cut rivets to get underneath the... I've had a leak in this boat since, what was it, the first winter of having it? Yeah, the first winter of having it. And I think I just hit a, a sharp spot pretty good while I was hunting. Season. Sorry, I got off track. It looked like a big snapping turtle right there. We could have had some extra food for the freezer. Y'all are ridiculous. Oh, selfie time. Well, we checked the other side, nothing. And I honestly think it has something to do with uh, them dropping the river. I don't know, I could be wrong. But my little spot normally provides an average of what eight fish and we throw about two or three back because they're small so we bring home five so but we're going to be coming out again this evening i left all my lines still up we're going to have to readjust of them bring them back down in the water well we rebate this evening move the lines and then we'll come back out tomorrow morning so that might actually be a separate video i mean i'm literally out almost every friday setting limb lines i mean we use these fish to to feed our family and as you can see from some of my videos, you know, I, I, I respect the water. I try to clean up the trash as I go around, and I also turn back all the small fish, you know. If it was a survival situation, most of the fish we would have kept, or all of the fish we would have kept. But, you know, sometimes you get those fish that, that just can't, they could get a little bit bigger. And I know there might be some fish that you already see, that are like, oh, that, that's too small. Well, I got a family to feed, and I have my own size limit in my head. Uh... Yeah, I guess that's it.